Well, good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome, snooker fans, from me, Mike Smith, as we continue with this week's coverage of the Northern Ireland Trophy, the first of the season's ranking events, coming to you from the Waterfront Hall in Belfast. And today is finals day, and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan versus Dave Harold. Not quite the final that many would have expected uh, about uh, seven days ago. Ronnie O'Sullivan, perhaps. Dave Harold, well, not according to the bookies. He was long odds against making it, but he's had a marvellous week, Dave Harold, the man from Stoke, beating Ricky Walden, Graham Dot, Stephen Lee, Stephen Maguire, the uh, Northern Ireland Trophy uh, champion from last year, and then yesterday in the semi-finals, John Higgins. A wonderful run from Dave, only his second ever appearance in a ranking event final following the winning of the Asia Open, it was, back in 1993. Well, he's 41 years of age now, Thank you, the and frame. officially ranked number 28 in the world, but by getting to this final, believe it or not, he's back in the top 16 on the provisional list at number 14. Well, this match began, uh, oh gosh, about uh, half an hour ago. They've had two frames. This is the start of frame three, and I can tell you that Dave has taken the opening frame, but Ronnie has fought back, and with a 68 in the second, he's levelled it all up. Now, let me just remind you that this final being played in two sessions, this afternoon and this evening, is over the best of 17. There you see it, bottom centre of your screen. Uh, they will play nine... Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, they, will they will play only seven um, this afternoon, and then they will play a possible this evening. Could be a long night if it goes all the way, and Dave will want it to, you can be assured of that. One other statistic, this is their 11th meeting in competitive play, and Dave Harold, a bit like Ali Carter against Ronnie, has never managed to beat the world number one. Well, I tell you what, he's played some good guys this week. I've just been through the list of them, and he has not been overawed by any of them. So, why should he be overawed playing Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final for the £30,000 first prize? So, the scene is set for what's a very intriguing final, I think. Ronnie the Rocket against steady Dave Harold. And it could be quite a long match. Here's Dave, then, at the table in frame three. Well, Joe Johnson's with me, Please. and, uh, well, Joe, Dave's been around quite a long time, uh, but it's 15 years since he was last in his only previous ranking event final. Quite a remarkable week he's had. Yes, it is, but hasn't he done well? You know, you just mentioned there, Mike, the quality of the players that he's already beaten this week. So, dear Harold, rejuvenated he's playing exceptionally well this week and don't think there's any fear there an excellent pot made a mess of the positional side of the shot in potting the yellow but recovered now nicely on the pink and I think this is going to be a very good final a lot of people thought that um, Ronnie O'Sullivan would run away with this final, but you know, Harold has other ideas here. This safety play has been excellent this week. He scored heavy when he's got in. And most importantly, he's been able to finish the matches off. A lot of times, players get to a position where they win can win a match and then freeze. Now Harold has shown as he's still got them fighting qualities. 11. Took him into the top 16 a few years ago.
16. Well, it appears he's playing for the plant. Well, no, this red goes through the gap. Something. Open pocket, should have had that. Yes, and what a let off. It was a touch thin, and he tried to avoid the reds. But as you say, Mike, should have had it. And he's been pretty fortunate there not to leave running something easier than this red. It's a tough one down the cushion. If he chooses to go for it, I'm not so sure he will. No, safety. Yes, can't blame him. Incidentally, before you start firing emails at me, um, I overlooked the 1994 Grand Prix when I was saying that um, the Asian Open was Dave Harrell's only appearance in a final. Yes, he won that Asian Open final in 93, but the following year he got to the final of the Grand Prix where he lost to John Higgins, so this is, just to get the record straight, this is his third appearance, but his first in 14 years. <laughs> Excellent speed on the cue ball. That's where he's going to have to get that cue ball all the way through this match. Terrific safety shot. Yes, and not a bad reply either from where he was. Look at that for a shot. Wonderful shot. Dead on the cushion. And again, well, yeah, Sullivan's safety has been excellent this week. Just managed to dodge that red on the right side cushion. Very good safety. Got out of trouble, but when he can see this red on the right side cushion. <coughs> and lots of right hand side on the cue ball to take the white over to the left side of the table that's where the damage is difficult to get back to walk from this side without all that side the white ball would have traveled up the right side of the table would have left an easy safety shot maybe even a pot for Dave Harold there it is he's in some kind of trouble. Nearest he's ever come to beating Ronnie it was way back in the British Open of 1995 when Ronnie just prevailed five frames to four. But uh, for the record, as Dave plays very calculated well he tried to leave the white in the jaw of the pocket that would have been about the best spot for it but 
just got a little bit too much on the cue ball and pay the penalty. Yes, the problem there was he, he had to play a drag shot and the cue ball could have just drifted off to the to the right, caught the red thinner than he would have liked and can Ronnie O'Sullivan get through the gap? He's having a good look. He might be able to. Well, if he can, he can get onto the black as well. I think he can get through the gap between the red and the pink. Well, he's playing it. There we are. One. Ah, but has he come out enough for the black? I'm not too sure that he has. Yes, he's trying to miss that red. He can and didn't too. So it's just a safety. Sullivan one. With excellent speed on the cue ball there. Been very impressed with Ronnie O'Sullivan's safety this week. He's dug deep. We didn't see much of it in that semi last night though because uh, he and Ali Carter played wonderfully attacking free-flowing snooker throughout their semi-final. Wonderful match to watch. Oh, Dave. Foul and a miss. Now, is it going to be a free ball? Sullivan. Free ball. Well, it is a free ball. Not sure what use the free ball is to him, actually. You can't snooker behind the ball you nominate. So you can't just nominate Brown and trickle up. You're not allowed to do that. Well, in actual fact, O'Sullivan's put... Dave Arnold in again from that position there. That's probably the best, uh, the best solution. Let give Dave the problem. Good decision, I think, by Ronnie there. Easier to hit one. Plenty of them. But can he get it safe? Well, has to land up to this red just to the left of the black and has to hit it on the right side of the red as well, looking at it. Well, I like to play the two cushion escape and yeah, this is dangerous. Just trying to catch that red to the right of the pink. Yes, yeah, so a lot of the snookers play, uh, the players in the in the game of snooker play this particular shot yeah. now offside and top cushion and calculating as we look at the still from where the white was previously white. that's pretty well spot on i'd say yes calculating uh, that they will just brush one of the reds on the way back wow. black the miss. well that's even worse on your sullivan set yes keep your eye on the reds ref <laughs> just in case this one does go back okay. Well, only one red moved. Yeah, so that's the problem with this shot. He's got to get very close to the black to be able to play the shot. To play the two cushion escape, has to get very close to the black. Okay, can you put it where it was before, please? That's where the red was before. And that's where the black was. A little bit fur towards yourself. This way? Oh, right. Sorry. off the cushion there. Yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's yeah. round about right. One red. Yes. Now there's just one of the reds also that needs to be brought back. We'll do it here somewhere. Can you just... It's the one adjacent, which is now adjacent to the blue. Can you... No, it's not that one, Ref. Where it was, that's the one that moved there. Eh? What was that one? The technology is there good? now, and yeah, whoever's uh, doing the scoring <laughs> has a monitor, and he can be can shown the still from the previous situation and relay the information to the referee, who is in this case Arian Williams. That's it was, near enough. That's pretty that's close, that one. Thank you. Black's pretty close. 
and once again has to get pretty close to the black to play the two cushion escape. Yes, I so close to the black, Joe. They won't be surprised if the same thing happened again. Well, he's looking at the shot I mentioned right at the very beginning, trying to hit this red that's closest to the black on the right side as well, looking at it, which would cover the other reds then. But again, this is such a dangerous shot to play. It has to be very accurate. And the speed has to be right, looks a little pacey. Oh, and a miss. Ron, you're still for me. Putting it back this time though. Well, will he? Can he get to this red? I um, think he can. Well, if he can, obviously he'll take it. Looks like he can. There we go. One. And this is a situation now which Ronnie loves to be in. All the reds split up from each other. Yeah, it's just over screwed that one though in his haste to pop the red. Wanted to be straight on this red, now he's queuing over the other reds. And it's just caused him a little problem, this now. position. Eight. Good safety play at the beginning of this frame. It was Ronnie O'Sullivan who won the battle. 24. And if Dave Harrell is to do well in this final, or even win it, he has to start winning the safety battles for sure. Seven points in the game. It's two more one. reds. One with the colour. Well, that one's a little short, but just Forty needs eight. the red. Consecutive half century for Ronnie. 53. And no question now, it's going to be 2 1 in his favour. Remember, as ever, the final 
the longest match of the week. Best of 17 60. frames. First to nine taking the title. 61. And the winner's check. enough 76. points for a century break here he's had five already but he's over screwed that cue ball by a mile from yellow to green oh well what difference does it make so <laughs> what a shot that was left-handed <laughs> screw with check side perfectly on the ground terrific shot 85 Another left handy coming up. 90. Amazing. <laughs> well, that 96. greeny potted with screw and check side was a tough shot for any natural left handed player. Made it look easy. What a performance. What a performance. A 68 in the previous frame and a 103 in that frame to come back from that opener from Dave Harold. So he now leads Dave Harold in this best of 17 frame final by two frames to one. Welcome back to the Waterfront Hall here in Belfast. And as Ronnie O'Sullivan comes to the table to get frame four of his final here against Dave Harold underway. Left-handed, as he always seems to do in the, with the break-off shot these days. But what a terrific left-handed shot he played towards the end of that century break. From yellow to green, he overscrewed the cue ball by a mile. But the shot he played on the green to keep the break going. Absolutely superb. So Dave knows he's got a job on here. He made a good start. But now he's got to win this to square it up before they go in for their cup of tea. Well, that was a blood and thunder attempt, wasn't it? And uh, he's done some damage, I'm afraid. Yes, he's been getting them shots all week. And when he needs to get them against Ronnie O'Sullivan, Missed it by some distance and open the pack of reds. Left handed. I feel I've still got to mention it. It's such a remarkable thing that he can do. And now if you can play that touch cannon to the red above. Oh, didn't need to. Eight. Angle to go into the pack of reds. I chose not to. Sixteen. Seventeen. And any time I ever see Ronnie O'Sullivan pop a red and a black in his first shot, I'm always thinking maximum. I'm sure Ronnie O'Sullivan does. 24. But he won't take liberties with the game. If he can't get onto it, 25. he'll try and win the frame first, which is exactly what he's done there. Thirty. 
31. Just seems to be queuing so well. 36. White ball. Exactly when he's playing it, each shot. Choice of three reds there, look. He's put the white ball in such a position. Could take the one to the middle, two to the left corner. And again, played that absolutely superbly. Knocking the two reds out of the way. Even himself on this red into the right corner. Yes, and it always amazes me when he's in full flow like this, Joe, how quickly he gets to the half century mark. I mean, this black for yet another half century, and he's only been at the table, it seems like, two or three minutes. Yes, things happen so quickly. With Ronnie O'Sullivan. 53. 60. And look at the positional shot he's played there. Had to get perfect position there to be able to find the gap to the red just below the pink. No room for error there. 61. Just overdone that one somewhat. So just one more red. And this frame's disappeared from Dave Harold. 68. Hmm. No applause. Perhaps the audience haven't done their calculations this time, but you've got it right, Joe. And just look at that. Such a clever little shot. 75. He's got such a great touch, hasn't he, Joe? Absolutely. It's a touch unlucky there. Trying to hit the red nearest to the pink, which would have left him on all four. <laughs> Another terrific shot. Those are so tight going into the middle pocket. Made it look easy. 73. Again, caught the wrong red. Well, what's going to happen here? 83. Oh, I can't see where he's going to pot one, but you never know with this fellow, do you? Hit them hard, there's plenty of pockets around. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> well, he's missed the yellow, but he fluked a red, and that took the break to 84, and it took Ronnie to a 3-1 mid-session interval lead well Dave started off well took the first one but since then it's been one-way traffic runs of 68 103 and 84 have given Ronnie a mid-session interval lead over Dave Harold by three frames to one well we'll take a break for Eurosport 2 news but we'll be right back here in Belfast in a little while Welcome back, snooker fans, to the Waterfront Hall here in Belfast as we continue once again with our coverage of this week's Northern Ireland Trophy. The first of the season's 
new ranking events. Uh, there are eight of them this year, the uh, same seven as last year, with the addition of the new Bahrain Championship in uh, November. That's a new addition to the list, a very welcome addition as well. So we've got five first-class events this side of Christmas, this being the first of them. Anyway, in case you've just switched on, the final is between the world number one and world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan and the 41-year-old from Stoke, ranked number 28 in the world officially, Dave Harold. A surprise packet this week, Dave. He's really had a marvellous run going back uh, to the beginning of the week. Wins over Ricky Walden, Graham Dot, Stephen Lee, Stephen Maguire and John Higgins. Ronnie, for his part, just for the record, one match fewer, of course, because he didn't come into the match until the, uh, the second round. Ronnie beat Ken Doherty, Joe Perry, Barry Hawkins and Two Ali five. Carter yesterday in an absolutely scintillating semi-final that went all the way, six frames to five. So here we are in the final. This is frame five getting underway. Frame five of a possible 17 for the £30,000 first prize the title of Northern Ireland Trophy Champion. And of course, those all important ranking points, uh, which have provisionally, provisionally, put Dave Harold up from number 28, his official position, to, to number 14. Provisionally back in the top 16. How about that? Ronnie's way clear at number one, thanks to a great season last time around. He won the two major titles, the World Championship and the UK title. <coughs> And he leads here by three frames to one, having rattled up three very good breaks in succession in frames two, three and four. So Dave knows he's got a job on here. Yes, and Dave Harold on his last visit got the white ball dead on the port cushion and forced a mistake from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Unfortunately for Dave Harold, didn't leave anything. and get the cue ball behind the yellow and blue. And you can see these reds and the same target. And he's been very impressed with his safety play this week. Even though he knows he's playing extremely well, still putting the effort into the safety. And that's going to be problems for Dave Harold. <coughs> and needs to get better safety than that. Ronnie O'Sullivan can get his hand on the table. Just a touch thin. The black not being on its spot. This red close to the right hand corner pocket. Not really worth the risk. Hmm, needs cover now. I think he's got it too. Yes, has he? Well, did, the white did come over a little more than I anticipated off that bottom cushion, Joe. Might be that Ronnie can just get to this red. Well, 
coming down to have a look to see if the pink goes into the right centre so got a feeling he can get this red yes one took the opportunity to open the pack yes and uh, he's got a shot on the black although the white will be going away from the reds <coughs> but once again it was a poor safety from Dave Harold caught it much too thin and that's a department he has to start winning in Black spot not available. The pink spot is. Another left hander coming up. Nine. Yes, and forced a nice angle onto the black. Well, I've got so many choices. <laughs> I remember Ronnie jokingly saying a few seasons ago, Joe, you might recall that he said in a flippant mood, I think I might play a whole season left handed one day. And I'm sure I could stop in the top 16 and you know, I think he was only half joking because I think he probably could. 25. Well after seeing that shot in frame two, we check the cue ball from the green to the brown. 32. I wouldn't put it past him either. was a kick on your and it threw the black 33. wide got to be careful with his cue banging the table like that so easy to bust and break your cue on the table there it is again just straightened up the black Dave Harold must take full advantage of that unforeseen occurrence. Force the angle onto the black. Has he got it? That's incidentally a new cue that uh, Dave Harrell got during the summer. He's been practicing very hard with it, and clearly it's done him a lot of good. Made by Tony Wilshaw of TWQs in Staffordshire. like it 
He's not played badly with it all week. Eight. Played very, very well indeed. Yeah, sometimes it can just give you a new lease of life, a new cue. Certainly done well for Dave Harold. Yes, for those of you who like Nine. little bits of technical information, I happen to know that it's 17 and a quarter ounces and it's 58 inches long. Standard length and more or less the standard weight, although my, my Q is 16 and a half ounces. They normally vary between 16 and a half to 17 and a half. The occasional cube, Jimmy White used to play with a cube 20 ounces plus. here hasn't he Joe this is a great chance to pull back to 3-2 well wouldn't expect him to win the frame at this visit the way the balls are Mike but it's he could get right back into the game and it's not beyond him to win the frame at this visit it's just tough 22 didn't expect the kick If you could take blacks with the f five of the six reds that are remaining, he's just having a count up now. He wouldn't need the red on the right side cushion. He'd be 37 in front. To move it if it had done his calculations. 38. But now we'll probably need it if he takes one of the bark colours. Another kick, you could hear it. But this time, the ball did go into the pocket. <coughs> Gonna have to take the blue wants to continue the break. Capote. Cue balls on the cushion though. And this is a tough one. And if it's straight, it's going to be difficult to get onto a colour. Maybe time. 
Just to play the safety. And William's just spotting this blue as near to its own spot as possible. All other spots are, are covered. 44. Mm, it was never going to be an easy shot, that was it? Well, it's it? not that shot, though, Mike. It was look the previous at, one. Yes, but look at what he's left himself. Was it worth the risk mm. of leaving the cue ball where it is? Look where the cue ball's finished. How tough would the black have been? And how could he get on to the next red? So it, he was risking the frame for one point. One. to have kept Ronnie O'Sullivan under pressure, moving a red off the cushion maybe. Eight. But now, Ronnie O'Sullivan back at the table. Nine. Still not easy for Ronnie. Got to play some good positional shots here. Well, there's one of them. Inch perfect. 16. Just checking to see if the blue and pink do go into the left middle. 17. And a touch harder would have had the ideal angle on the green to dislodge the red. Another perfect positional played shot. 20. Yes, left handed again. Yeah. What an advantage it is to be able to play both hands. This is a tough shot normally with the rest. Just switches over, starts using his left hand. Undercook that one. 27. So 16 points in front. Still need yellow, green, and brown. Just doesn't miss, does it? Terrific pop on the yellow and terrific positional play. Dave Harold had his chance in this game. Yes, but it's gone now. It's going to be 4 1. 41.
54 clearance by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Clinches another one. That's four in a row. After he was originally 1-0 down, he now leads Dave Harrell as we head for a break by four frames to one. Welcome back to this Northern Ireland trophy here in Belfast. As we await the start of frame six of a possible 17 in this final here between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Dave Harold. Ronnie, the long odds on favourite to lift the trophy here. Thank you. The sixth frame. Ronnie One O'Sullivan. One of the few trophies that he hasn't won so far. Mind you, this is only the fourth time that this event has in fact taken place. It began in 2005 as an invitational event. There's that left-handed break off again. Uh, but the last two seasons, it has been a ranking event. This the third in that category. Previous winners, Matthew Stevens, when it was an invitation. And then, as a ranking event, Ding Junhui two years ago, and Stephen Maguire last year. Yes, things starting to go wrong now for Dave Harold. Played to drop the white ball and black cushion and got the double kiss. He's smiling. One. Yeah. I can assure you, it doesn't mean to be. Oh, that was a clever little shot from right there, using the second red to hold for the black. And once again, he's got these balls at his mercy. Yes, yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if he tried a little harder at the maximum this time because he's 4 1 up in frames. It does give him some breathing space. Sixteen. Well, oh, he had a 1-4-7 in that wonderful match with uh, Ali Carter, not last night, but 12 months ago, you might recall. And he uh, beat Ali by five frames to two and established a record whereby all the five frames that he won, 24. he won with centuries, including that 1-4-7. I remember that match well. Remarkable match, and uh, for similar reasons, although there wasn't quite the abundance of centuries, that semi-final between the same two players last night here was a superb match. 25. Only one century each last night. What were they playing at? <laughs> yeah, it was a great game. Shame there had to be a loser. Ali Carter now provisionally up to number four in the world as a result of getting to the semi. But Ronnie here, well, he's been in terrific form ever since his comeback against Ken Doherty in the first round. Sorry, the second round, his Three. first match, but that was a second round match. Ken Doherty led him 4-2. Uh, but then Ronnie just switched up a gear, rattled off three frames in a row to put the Dubliner out. And he hasn't looked back since. Beat Joe Perry 5-3. Barry Hawkins 5-4. Little nervy he was at there, actually, against Barry. Barry played very well. And then, of course, that 6-5 victory over Ali Carter in the semis yesterday. Well, that's end of maximum. I'm sure he'll play for the blue here. 41. And as I said previously, the frame more important. And Ronnie not being disrespectful to the game. Playing the game properly. Now he's got to leave a nice 46. angle to just develop these reds in a moment. Let's see if he's got it off the black. Well, that should be okay. Well, it's a bit too much of an angle. 
I still think he can get into the pack here, Joe, and perhaps develop one or two. Yes, I'm sure you're right. We will do. But would have liked to have been straighter on the black. Can control the cue ball much better then. Where's the red oh. going? Ah, well that's always a possibility when you bust the pack. The red finds its way into a pocket. So, yes, it's alive. <laughs> it's a life for Dave and Joe at this stage. He's just got to take every opportunity that comes his way. He won't get too many against Ronnie. Well, I don't think he's got one here, Mike. He's been a little fortunate, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and unfortunate, of course. Red going in the centre is unfortunate, but fortunate that he hasn't left Dave Harold anything easy. Has a red to the bark corner. But would probably be leaving reds on should he miss it. If he could play the white ball close to the middle pocket, tight on the cushion, well, he's playing it to the right centre. Be happy with that one. Played the white ball there. Didn't try to get in and out of Bork. Foul. The miss. Ah. Two foul of six. Yes, you saw the elevation of the cue there, attempting to screw that white a little bit, just swerve it a little bit, but uh, didn't avoid the pink. Yes, and this is going to be tough to replace accurately. Okay. Have to swerve round the brown. Oh, miss. Yes, I think Aaron Williams might just need to resort to the, uh, the still for the purposes of replacing pink and red. Have you got it? Before, please. Yes, he's asked for the still, as you've heard, probably heard. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we're that far off the cushion, were they? Pink where? Pink Out. Back where it was. Oh, they were indeed. And that's the still. So that's pretty good. Push over the way. But only slight swerve, isn't it? I think it probably up a little bit, don't they? Because you didn't need to swerve it as hard as that. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? What's it look like on your screen, Peter? Yeah. Mm, that's pretty close. Hmm. What's that look like? Of course. We are talking fractions here. Can't tell from he has to swerve round the brown. Yes, yeah, so that pink does need to go to our right. left slightly. Happy with the right, That's, uh, I would say, yeah. pretty good. Well, if anything, the pink I still think should be slightly more to our left, but here we go anyway. Take two. Time. Yes, and that's exactly what he tried to do the first time round, and didn't he play it well? <coughs> yes, can't play that shot, David. Ball's much too close. Just got to skim off the red and send the cue ball into Bork. There's that light grip that Dave Harold has. <coughs> yes, it is a very light grip, actually. We've not commented on that before. But, uh, different players hold the cue in different ways. Ronnie has a fairly firm grip. John Higgins, too, but uh, Dave's a very light, light grip, isn't it? Yeah, most players have a... Well, 
pretty firm grip. Just one other that I can remember, and that was Patsy Fagan, who had a similar type grip to Dave Harold. Great player, Patsy. Heard he was doing really well recently. Former winner of the UK, if memory serves me right. One of the first winners, I believe. Uh, around about 79, would it be? No, that was Virgo. It was. In that case, it must have been around 77 then. It was either Doug Mountjoy who won it first, or Patsy Fagan. Can't remember which. Meanwhile, Dave Harrell still got to keep Ronnie O'Sullivan tight. Got to get that cue ball tight to the ball cushion. <clears throat> Got a shot. And that's the difference between being tight on the ball cushion and the cue ball being off. I mean, just unbelievable what this man can knock in. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. of trouble here for Dave Harold. This is all about speed. Oh, and a miss. Well, can you oh, believe it? Oh. Just so shot. But it, we're going back. One. And it didn't go back. Found one. Forty seven points Eight. in front. Doesn't need many more. Nine. So just one more red required. And it's gonna be five one. Sixteen. Has to stop the rot. Somehow. Seventeen. But look at the red that Ronnie O'Sullivan got in with white ball close to being dead on the top cushion. And stroked one into the corner pocket. Played the snooker. Twenty-four. And this is the result. Twenty-five. Marvellous stuff. He missed a left-handed shot. On your southern 32. Yes, need it. Face. And the frame, enough to win the frame though. And another one has gone to the name of Ronnie O'Sullivan. Another one has gone from Dave Harold. So with one more to play this afternoon, Ronnie O'Sullivan now leads by five frames to one. Here we are once again, back at the waterfront hall, Belfast. Waiting for the start of frame seven. Of this best of 17 frame final of this Northern Ireland trophy. Ronnie O'Sullivan just returning to the arena after a short break. And, well, he's got Dave Harold in a lot of trouble here. 
Thank you. The final frame of the session, Dave Harold the break. Well, there you heard referee Aaron Williams just confirming when I said that this is the last one that they play this afternoon. And a must win frame, surely, for Dave Harold. He's done so well to get to this final this week. But Ronnie has just motored through the week. <coughs> and is odds on favourite for yet another title. Well, he's there, motored through the week, but he's had a couple of close calls. Yes, the Barry Hawkins match, you're right there. He just wobbled on a couple of occasions there. And the Ken Doherty match, he was 4-2 down in that one as well. So he's stuck to his guns. Ronnie O'Sullivan, he's fought all the way, hasn't dropped his head, carried on as he finished last season, battling for everything. <laughs> and we've seen what it means to him because even though he was leading in one of the earlier frames, had a kick on the black, missed it, and banged his cue on the table. So. I know how much it means to him. He's not taking any of this easy. And he needs more of that, Dave Harold. Good shot. But unfortunately, the reds are tight and can't really see Ronnie O'Sullivan leaving anything from this snooker. Is it worth the double? Couldn't leave anything. from Dave Harold. And did you find out, Mike, if Patsy Fagan won the UK Championship? Well, I, I suggested it was 77, and in fact, uh, that is correct. Uh, that was the first running of the UK, beat Doug Mountjoy in that first final. Of course, for the first five or six years, the UK was not a ranking event. Um, it only became a ranking event in the early 1980s. But yes, uh, you're right about John Virgo winning it in 79. But Patsy was the very first winner of one of our longest-running tournaments. Ah, strange, that. I always thought it was a ranking event. Until the early 80s, uh, the ranking events consisted of just one event, in fact, the World Championship. And all the rankings in those early days were based purely on your performance in that one event, the World Championship. But since then, have come, we've come a long way. We have had, have had seasons with 9, 10, I think 11 ranking events in a season once, if memory serves me right. We have um, eight this time around. Sport could still do with one or two more, in my opinion. Yes, the more the merrier. But it's finding the sponsors, isn't it? We've already had the bad news before the start of this season that 888.com and Saga have withdrawn their support of the World Championship and the Masters, two of the biggest events in the calendar, which is a big blow. <coughs> Softened 
somewhat, if you like, by the announcement of the new Bahrain Championship. And look at that for a superb safety shot from Ronnie. Beautifully judged. Yes, certainly been the difference this week. As far as I'm concerned with Ronnie O'Sullivan, and nod of the head there, he's in trouble again. The red on the black cushion is stopping the natural safety shot of glancing off the reds. Would have to play it very thick, in which case would be opening the reds. But he's played it well. Look at this for a shot. Wonderful safety. And that's where he needs to be. Pot one from there, Mr O'Sullivan. <laughs> yes, he'll need a few more of those if he's to get himself back into this final. Back of it. Oh, and a miss. Two hard four. Yes, no damage done. Yeah. Back it goes. Very clever shot though from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Can only leave the red that he's trying to hit. Most of the people would have tried to hit the red on the black cushion. Ronnie quickly worked out and if he placed this red on the side cushion, he can only leave this red on. <laughs> and he's got it safe. What a quick snooker brain he has. behind the green. The only problem is Ronnie knows the path to this red on the left side cushion. Dave Harold one. So similar situation to last time. Can only leave the red. He's playing on. again he did that a few shots ago couldn't have got any nearer could he not really but the miss has to be called by referee Aaron Williams there are plenty of reds that are easy to hit yes fully agree could very easily hit one of the other reds but electing to play on this loose red because that's the safest one and played it again very well. Now is it touching? No call from referee Aaron Williams. Searching out that green again. 
not quite this time. chance for Dave Harold and you would feel he has to take them on and all he can see at the moment are problems he knows if he misses he could be 6-1 down no easy colour to get onto black not available just coming to have a look to see if the pink's available in the right middle played it well, got the cannon he played for, <coughs> can you see enough of this red? Can. Good One. pot. And unfortunate not to be right side of the blue. really clouted that one didn't he six but only succeeded in coming a third of the way down the table wanted to come past the blue three reds that are lined up in a row to the right corner doesn't look like there's a way out from those reds not sure if Dave has the cue action to play the red on the left side of the table and screw back down for the for the blue but this is a risky one Well, for me, the shot is the one on the left side of the table, but it may be hampered by the brown and green. Kiss. <coughs> Seven. Now I'll try and get the cue ball in behind the green again. Pink is much too risky. <coughs> he 
He's playing it. He isn't. They followed seven. And as you said, Mike, this is a must-win frame for Dave Harold. Yes, 6-1 behind going into the evening. I don't think there's any way back. 5-2, maybe just a glimmer of a chance. There's the trophy, lovely crystal trophy, which will be presented to the winner at the end of the evening. taking this red on if he can stay on the black excellent pop has he got the speed on the white ball don't think he has what a terrific pot. Yes, it was, but uh, he's uh, having a hard time of it out here, trying to get the position to start break building. Well, he's had the white ball cleaned, which suggests to me he's on the black. He's having a good look. It's a slight swerve, worth taking on. It is a slight swerve. And another very good shot, and then look at that, he's played it terrifically well. He's on three reds here. Okay. Eight. Well, he's called for the spider, so that tells us he's taking the one into the right corner. And what a great fighting abilities Dave Harold has. Thanks. No. Been around for a long time, and one of the main reasons is doesn't know what losing means. Won't see many 40, 41 year olds in the finals of tournaments. Played that very, very well. 16. Lots of left hand side on the cue ball. And it's come out for the red. couple of inches speed there on the white ball it should be okay and he's building the points up 24 
25. I've just come a little far from what he wanted. Just wanted to drop the black in, finish on that red closest to the right corner. Coming to go up for the other red, and he's overcooked that one again. Now important, 32. he finishes top side of the black here. to go into those reds because he's going to need one of them it's not enough just to take the black and the red closest to the right corner it's going to need one of those reds in the cluster didn't really hit that with any authority 40 so 60 points in front and he's played that very carelessly well, that was an astonishing uh, way of playing that red almost as if he didn't care I think he was just so cross with himself uh, for the previous shot and that was the time to really concentrate on the safety. And this game isn't safe yet, especially with this man striking. One. Attempting to develop two or three of those reds. Eight. Just the one out for the moment. And a, an opportunity to get more of them in another couple of shots. Nine. And has he got the right angle off the black? And he's come a little low on the black. So, so it's going to take a good shot from here to keep the break going. Lots of left hand side on the cue ball, and he's on this red. 16. 70. And I said it'd take a good shot to keep the break going, and that was a terrific shot. But can he do it again? Because he's finished low on the black again. Can't see him get it on the red this time. He's found the gap. 25. And once again, he's pulled out a shot to keep the break going. Just can't keep this man down, can you? 22. Now, once again, needs to be top side of the block. 32. Well, looks like only the brown can come to save Dave Harrell now. He's worked that cluster of reds so well. This is why the guy is the world champion, why the guy is the world number one. He's a genius. 
41. Yes, when he came to the table, there was just a couple of reds out. And look where the green is. It's in a natural place to get the cannon to the brown. 49. Dave Harold will be ruining that loose safety shot he played. Just seemed to rush it with frustration at being out of position. Now Ron is just a, a couple of shots ahead here, working out how best to go from yellow to green to give himself an angle to disturb brown and pink. 58. Yes, it's the pink he'd like to hit. 58. He's settled for that one. He certainly will, Joe. It should give him his sixth frame in a row to end the session. Just three short of victory for tonight. Wonderful clearance this. When you saw those reds when he came to the table, you thought, nah, not a chance. And the brown. Uh, rash shot from Dave Harold. I feel has cost him yet another frame. Pure frustration on Dave's part. 70. There's a cue ball going. Should still get this pink. He has done. It's six in a row for the Rocket to bring the session to a, a successful conclusion from his point of view. A wonderful string of breaks from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He ends the session leading six frames to one. Well, there we are. From Dave Harold's point of view, it began fine. He took the opening frame. But since then, it's been pretty well one-way traffic. And Ronnie O'Sullivan now goes into the evening session just needing three more frames to lift this Northern Ireland trophy title here in Belfast. Well, that's where we, of course, finish for the afternoon. Let me just remind you that we start our evening coverage on Eurosport 2 here this evening at half past eight, which is Central European time. Of course, that's half past seven if you're, wa if you're watching it anywhere in the UK. So I trust you'll join us then. In the meantime, from Joe Johnson and from me, Mike Smith, goodbye. Goodbye. Good evening everybody, welcome to Belfast, welcome to the Waterfront Hall venue for the Northern Ireland Trophy. And it's uh, the day of the final, Ronnie O'Sullivan against Dave Harrell. Ronnie O'Sullivan 6-1 up after the first session, so he needs three frames tonight to become champion. It's a real tough ask for Harold. He's done so well to get to the final, his first ranking final in 14 years, but he's got it all to do as the 41-year-old from Stoke. 6-1 down, so as I say, O'Sullivan needs three frames for victory. These are live pictures from the arena. There's the handshake before we get underway. Irene Williams is the referee. Ronnie O'Sullivan breaking off in frame eight. And the question is, how much snooker are we going to see this evening? Harold did win the first frame of the final. O'Sullivan won the last six. I'm David Hendon, Mike Allett alongside me. Big mountain to climb for Dave. Massive, absolutely massive. And uh, he, he had chances most of the frames, actually. He could have, um, could have won two or three more, Dave Howard. That is, as we look at Ronnie in the chair. But really, Ronnie did take uh, control of that first session. And, uh, but we know how tenacious Dave Howard is. Um, but for me, I think this is a question of um, when and not if. <coughs> But uh, he'll give it a go, there's no doubt about that. He's played brilliantly all week to get here in the final. Uh, whatever happens, he can uh, be proud of himself for his performances this week. 
but um, of course Ronnie is a strong favourite. I can't tell you the betting. Uh, Ronnie, the start of this evening is 750 to one on. 40 to 1 for Dave Howell. That's not bad if you fancy a couple of quid on that. But uh, it's all about these first four frames, of course. If Dave could come out 3 1, you never know. But uh, I'm sure in with some fireworks again this evening, especially probably from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And uh, we look forward to these two boys entertaining us as the evening wears on. Ronnie's played brilliantly this week, David, hasn't he? he he's just uh, he's come back with the form that he finished last season in the World Championship. Yes, he's fought hard. He's had some tough matches. Ken Doherty in the first round. I mean, it doesn't get much tougher than that. He was 4-2 down. Came back to win 5-4. Beat Joe Perry, another tough opponent, 5-3. He was 4-1 up on Barry Hawkins. Beat him 5-4. Played well in the deciding frame. And then last night, a real cracker against Ali Carter, 6-5. Tough route to the final, but it hasn't been quite as tough for him today. Hmm. You were telling me earlier, one of your internet blogs, don't back Ronnie O'Sullivan, you said, didn't you? Because you thought it's early in the season, he's got a tough draw. Sorry about that one. Well, to be fair to myself, I didn't say don't back him. I said to be wary because he had a tough draw. And certainly the results have uh, proved that. It was tough, but he's come through three deciders in four matches. Trust me, that's after some of the predictions I made last season. <laughs> Yeah, he did have a tough job, but it, it, ooh, as he misses that red, but he has played superbly all week as the red comes back over that corner. Uh, great match last evening against Ali Carter. There was some fantastic snooker there. A couple of centuries, 12, 50-plus breaks. Uh, it was high-quality stuff from both players. And uh, he's been tested, as you said, Dave, a couple of times this week. It's just a question, can Dave Howell get close to him? He's going to have to make a good start, that's for sure. Full house in this evening. I'm sure a lot of people, whoever they're supporting, hope that it will go a bit closer than it is at the moment. We'll see. <laughs> Play a little cannon hit, hold himself on the red to the opposite corner. himself a little bit hampered but if he's straight on the red not too bad great to see Dave back in the fold again in top flight snooker it's been an amazing uh, journey for him this week <coughs> bear in mind it was 14 years since his last final 15 years since his only ranking title the Asian Open 93 he's battled well he's beaten Ricky Walden Graham Dot Stephen Lee Stephen Maguire and John Higgins terrific week for the man from Stoke Well, obviously the angle, he's taken the cue ball into the black here. So this really needs a good shot, not only for the pot, but the positional side as well. Yeah, well, there was always a possibility of that. Wasn't easy. look on his face as if to say this isn't going to be my day there's only one frame this afternoon where he didn't score any points he was in in all the others including the last one he was 60 nil up and O'Sullivan cleared up with 76 and it was a really awesome clearance as well there were balls on cushions and he's in already here in the first frame of the evening yes I think this Dave had grabbed that last uh, frame there make it 5-2 but uh, as we've already said, an uphill task is uh, Ronnie's back in straight away. And it, he's been scoring very heavily this week. Eight. Let's see how many he gets from this. Nine. Just watch closely with these two players. Total contrast in their 
cue arms, their techniques. Of course, as we know, Dave is, he doesn't get much bat swing there as he's delivering the cue. And sometimes lacks a little bit of cue power when he has to play the odd shot. But uh, of course, Ronnie is absolutely superb. He's the, the ultimate uh, technician. Really just create a lot of power, and as I've often said, um, well, a maximum result for minimum effort. We'll be looking to split a few more of the reds after this one. Just drop in 30. The, drop this red in, I should say, for the black. 31. Oh, he's gone too far there. That's an awful shot. I think he's just still cannon into the reds on the right-hand side of the pack, but I don't have him on that by three or four inches. Now well, the white is stuck. He won't be happy with that. 38. Especially that we know he's such a perfectionist, and uh, once or twice this week there's been signs of frustration when the positional side has gone wrong. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 38. His tactical side has improved immensely, David, hasn't it, Ronnie's over the last three or four seasons. He's the complete player now. He really is a, a great act and uh, a tough man to beat. Oh, he's got all the shots all right. I think you touched on something there, though. The only thing that really defeats him is when he does get down on himself. Hasn't really this week. Only a couple of signs here and there, but he's kept him... His emotions in check pretty well. Didn't want the double kiss really. Ronnie might uh, be able to put Dave in a bit of trouble here, possibly behind the yellow. He'd be looking to leave the cue ball tight on the back cushion. He's come to the double. Can you believe it? Left himself the angle on the yellow. That was a cheeky one. On your Sullivan one. Mm. Unexpected. There, just at the uh, back of the bunch, just done off the top cushion. I'm gonna drop it in with a bit of check side, actually. Oh, David. David. He's got a little bit of nerves there, tension creeping in. Completely took his eye off the pot. He got away with it. Didn't leave Ronnie a red on. Harold Sice breaks so far, 44. Clearly not going to be enough to win this match unless he comes back and that's gone wrong for him, albeit the cue ball on the side cushion. Well, there's a red on here from Ronnie, but well, he's taken the other one actually. Oh, oh, well. oh. I was about to say, if he takes the one above the black spot, he would collide into things. So That's enough, thank you. I think one or two people may have uh, had a couple of cold drinks in the gap between sessions. Irene Williams just reminding them to respect the players. Mm, a little liquid refreshment, eh? Cut it. I think it would be a shame if this was a complete procession because it's the first final of the 
campaign. It's a full house. Mm. We've had excellent conditions as well all week. The table's played beautifully. And it'll be nice to see it get a bit closer, unless you're Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course. Oh, he'll be wanting to finish it early. Hasn't played that one too well, though. Push the black over the middle of the pocket. And David can take this red on. Okay, he's got a slight angle on the black here, but I'm not sure where the next red's coming from. One will go to the yellow pocket, so the green pocket, I should say. But he's got to play perfect position on it. The cue ball had been four or five inches off that cushion. He could have probably stunned off two, two cushions into them. Hmm, limited shot choice here for Dave Holt. Well, he's thinking about the snooker. Well, take the seven points and uh, play safe if you have to. Brown ball. Playing the brown. to plan that red just right to the bunch but got to be careful he doesn't push it on past the pack oh that's wide i think oh, my apologies this is absolutely perfect it looked wide coming off the side cushion well he's had a quick look at one of these reds that goes to the yellow pocket Another chance. <laughs> that was nice coming down over the middle pocket. And again, Ronnie will not be too happy with that shot. And he's left them all open as well. Now then, Dave, this is it. A great chance to get back into this uh, opening frame of the evening session. Well, there's only 25 behind, but uh, everything on the table is potable. One. I'll probably play the green. on the black after this red. really needs to get this, well obviously needs to get 12. this first frame under his belt, just uh, settle him down a little. Started well this afternoon but then was completely overawed. Uh, 13. Mentioned, did have a couple of chances but has to make the most of this. Action, as we say, it's no real backswing at all. 19. Just sort of punches the balls in. Completely different to this man. 
most fluent player in the game. It's 20 foot prod, isn't it? I don't think the cue goes back about four inches. Uh, Ronnie's looking really, really long before he delivers the cue. Of course, with Dave's action as it is, who am I to say, he's in, he's in a ranking of event final, but, uh, but it does limit him to uh, limit his shot selection or the execution of them anyway. Well, you work with what you've got, and work within those lines, and um, he's, he's been doing it very well for a long, long time. I assume the yellow passes the brown to the green pocket. Mm. It'll just come off the right hand cushion, left hand cushion. Just a touch of left hand side on the cue ball. Mm, that's not a good angle. No, he might have had a pot from there, I'm sure he'll play the same thing. Well, he that cue ball to be down the table another two or three inches. This is risky if he takes this on. Should play the snooker. They've had a 40. A good 40 from David. He's uh, put his nose in front in this first frame of the evening. It's by 15. Still enough on there for Ronnie then. Pretty easy to hit this yellow. I was just about to say, things could happen. They might have got a snooker or they might pot it, but well, they might not have got the snooker actually. I think the yellow's just travelled enough. The question is, can Dave see enough of it to pot it? Or take it on at least. I think he can. There's no way he can get back to the green, though. Oh, he needs to slow down. If he goes past the black, he could be in trouble. Ooh, now then. And Ronnie's got the perfect angle to drop him behind the green off that side cushion. Mm, that's a long way away from the pocket. Surprised he didn't play on the green to its own pocket though, he's played on it to the middle, but uh, good angle just to drop in, drop this in I should say, and be perfectly on the brown. Oh, Ronnie O'Sullivan too. They are nasty little shots though, aren't they, those? Wasn't altogether surprised that he missed it. He needs them all. And uh, Harold needs green and brown. Give them a little bit more strength on the green. Good shot. 
Well, these are always tricky because if you play it across or up and down, the double kiss could be on. He's got to be careful here, David. Could easily leave this green on and lose the frame. Well, he's got the double kiss, but got away with it. Oh, and a miss. Well, that was a surprise. Dave Harold four. And he's going to play from there. Dave, at no point Dave Harold having the cue ball replaced, because, of course, he's now further away. going for it but cracking green and just look where he's got the cue ball that uh, is one of the shots of the tournament Brilliant. and he just needs the brown up yet Dave Harold he's a great battler always has been he's battled all the way to the final and he's going to make Ronnie O'Sullivan sweat as much as possible to win it he knew how to win the first frame of the evening and he has done and it means Ronnie O'Sullivan is still three frames away from winning the title great green from Dave Harold Pretty good brown as well to clinch the frame. And so Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by six frames to two. Welcome back to Belfast. The players are back out in the arena. David Hendon and Mike Allett with you for the conclusion now of this Northern Ireland three, trophy. No, Dave please. Harold, he's 8-3 down to Ronnie O'Sullivan, who needs one more frame okay, to become 12. champion. Ronnie O'Sullivan and it's O'Sullivan to break in frame 12. This is his 30th ranking event final. He's looking for his 21st title. OK, that's enough now. Thank you. Arian Williams just silencing the crowd, who are even more refreshed than they were before, after the 15 minutes interval. Yes, his 21st title it would be, Stephen Hendry still way out in front on 36, Steve Davis on 28, O'Sullivan would be 21, John Higgins is fourth on 18, so Ronnie still has some way to go before overhauling Stephen Hendry. That's a pretty good shot. We're only just looking at the left hand edge of the pack here as we look at the table. Swinging the cue ball around the table back into the bulk area. Looks perfect. Great shot. Oh, <laughs> look at the Brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. We were watching an interval, the Shanghai Masters final from last year on Friday. Dave Harold will be attempting to qualify for that down in the press stat in Pontins, North Wales. He's got to win one match to get through. It'll be a slightly different setup, of course. No television cameras and not much of a crowd either, but a very important match for him. Yes, that all starts on Tuesday, actually. to that corner. No, it's okay. Yes, yeah, the difference with the overseas events actually, we only take 32 players overseas. From the UK based uh, events, we have 48 at the first round popper. So the higher seeds have to uh, come in and play uh, one qualifying match. The top 16, of course, are already there. Of course, we know that Jimmy White will have to do a lot of qualifying this year. Down in North Wales, he had to play three rounds to uh, to get here. As uh, Davis played a loose one. Fortunately, Jimmy went out first time of asking here to Barry Hawkins, 5-3, who's also had a great tournament. Push Ronnie all the way in that quarter final, 5-4. One. Yeah, now then, I'm just thinking about that uh, poor safety from Dave Howard there. Could that be his last shot here this evening? I don't think either of us would be surprised if O'Sullivan finished off in style. Has done so many times before. Yes, and as we know, he wants to do it earlier rather than later. Mm, touch hard. Played on the red right of the black, he's overdone it. And he's out of position. End of break. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. Well, he still might finish off in style, but not at that visit. My tipping is getting better as the week draws to a close. I think you've been at my finishing school, haven't you? Oh, he's having a look at the red to the right corner. But I think he's playing safe off it, leaving the white on the top cushion. A slightly heavy contact there, didn't get the cue ball tight to the top cushion, but it's okay. It's been a lot of frames today that Dave really could have won, especially two this evening, two cracking clearances from Ronnie O'Sullivan. <coughs> of course, he now just one frame away from being crowned the Irish champion. shot. They got him behind the green. Mm, what about David in all sorts of trouble? Well, he's got options here to get the cue ball back to the ball carrier. As always, didn't want to catch the middle pocket, but it's not finished too bad actually. There's no way Ronnie will take one on from there. 
won't be overly concerned. I'm sure you'll be looking for a safety shot. Yes, his safety's been excellent all week. It's not a facet of the game he's necessarily known for, but uh, he's developed a really good safety game. In fact, there's very few shots, let's be honest, that he can't play. Um, fantastic, isn't it? He's got it when he needs it. It's as simple as that. Well, looking to come off a side cushion, dead weight onto the, probably the red on the top cushion actually, but I don't know if he's got that angle. I think the brown is in the way. This is awkward. It's got to be careful. He could leave everything on here. Now then, which way is he going? Just in the table. Not too bad. to attempt the red to the centre to get on the black <coughs> knowing that he, did, he didn't bring the white out too far away from the top cushion it would be fairly safe well this would be a tempter down the top cushion but I can't see David taking that on there's also one to the right centre I think that one is favourite. Well, see there, that light grip. Unlucky. Wasn't easy across the table, across the nap. Already was taking that on, but excellent red. Unfortunately, just a cannon into the second one, actually. Might have been back for the blue. Well, he'll need a good pot on the collar here to continue. I don't even think he'll look at one. He's already looking to leave the cue ball safe on the back cushion. It's 
got to, got to make sure he doesn't leave that red on down the table there, though, near the left centre. Green ball. Playing the green. Behind the, the yellow on the back cushion would be perfect. Well, that really is a killer ball. shot. That's a poor shot. Anything but that. He could have left the, the cue ball in the, the yellow pocket, not leave that red on. Yeah, I think David was just trying to be a little bit too cute there. And uh, this red is on to the middle for Ronnie. Well, look at that. What a bonus that is. Yes, ultimately, this match has come down to three or four just careless shots from Harold. It's been a lot of close frames. It's been closer than the scoreline suggests. But ultimately, if you let Ronnie O'Sullivan in, eventually he's going to pounce. And he has a chance to do so here. Yes, it was one of those, wasn't it? The safety, just trying to get it too perfect and finished up doing nothing. Let's give him Ronnie this chance. Eight. Mm, I bet he thinks he wish he could have that shot back again. <coughs> Black's tied up there. Well, Ronnie can cut this red in and uh, hopefully stay on the blue. And then concentrate on matters down this end of the table. Nine. <coughs> Two reds round to the pink will go to this right corner. Hmm. Can only sit and wait. Not sure if you'll get another chance. Fourteen. Fifteen. Ronnie's got the angle to split these three reds here, open them up. <laughs> Starting to look ominous. Like, like all these top stars, David, they want the reds open fast, don't they? As early as possible. Okay, the black's slightly tied up, but uh, there's enough there. It can do enough damage with the pink. Two. Three. Well, Dave Harrell can be very proud of himself for the way he's played here in Belfast. 28. First final in 14 years. He's beaten 29. one of the best qualifiers, Ricky Walden. He's beaten player of undisputed class, Stephen Lee, two world champions, Graham Dott and John Higgins, the defending champion, Stephen Maguire. 35. But increasingly, at the moment in snooker, it's very Six. difficult to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's the world number one, he's the world champion, he's miles ahead of everyone else at the top of the rankings, and he's going to take some handling this season from the rest. A couple of good bonuses for Dave, though. You know, back into the top 16, provisionally at number 14, 43. and £15,000 coming his way. 43. As you said, David, great week for him. <laughs> but this guy is different class. It's been a tough workout. 49. Three matches of the four he played to get to the final went to deciders, but his attitude has been very good. 50. His form goes without saying has been very good and he's closing in now on victory trying to nudge the black away from the red there open up that red and uh, he's slightly out of position just wondering where the next red's going to come from oh, well, you can see it oh he had a little bit of, we tried to create an angle there 50. And, uh, oh i didn't expect him to miss that one really was angry with himself. He got him behind the reds perfectly, but didn't make the pot on the pink. One well, lifeline here for Dave Howard. Well, 
Uh, it looks a little bit straight on the blue, but he has the pink to go around the angles. Again, we've often said, such a perfectionist, he knows that he should have killed the match off there. Yes, assuming he wins, I'll be very interested to hear what he has to say afterwards, because uh, he has sometimes been downbeat in victory. He was at the World Championship, let's not forget. He wants to play well all the time. But nobody's ever played well all the time. Six. Well, he's on the pink, but he looks a little bit straight on it. I don't think he can get close to these reds. I would have preferred not to have gone so far with the cue ball, and he could send the white around the angles, around in and out of bulk, I should say. OK, the yellow is on. But he needs high-value colours. Might just drop this in and leave himself on the red. On the left-hand side, well, he's just played to play a safety. He's going to open up the black 30. here. Needs to be careful he doesn't push anything towards this left corner. 41 the difference, 51 on. Oh, he's going to push 30. the black safe and he's OK. Still a bit to be done here by Dave Howard, but th there is enough on. <laughs> I didn't see, I think I probably uh, <laughs> just collided into Dave on the way back there, just apologise. This looks a great shot. mistake and he knows it's all over. Well he played a good cue ball. Has he covered the red? Not sure. Don't think so. Well, Ronnie played that on the thin side for safety, actually, so perhaps he couldn't see the potting angle. This frame in the balance, 41, the difference, 51 on. Could still go either way. Uh, we talked about... Uh, Tactical side of Ronnie O'Sullivan, but uh, trust me, Dave Howard is a good tactician as well. Excellent shot there. <laughs> He's enjoying this, whatever the score is. Well, not as intended, but not too bad. Dave will take the opportunity of nudging these reds off the cushion here. Bring them into the open. And well played. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, now then, the first real mistake. <clears throat> He's got the chance, but there's still pressure on these. Stun round for the pink, but just short of pace. He's going to be colliding into this red, and uh, these could finish anywhere. He might not finish on a red here, as he plays a little nice nudge on that red there. That's the pink. He's done that, but has he got the pink? Well, he's missed the pink by a long way. The question is, has he covered the pocket? If he hasn't, uh, I think he has actually. Ronnie's looking to lay a snooker in behind the pink. Well, there you have it. 40 the difference. Uh, 43, possible 43 on the table. Hmm. It's one of those again, it's bite your nails time. Ooh, has he covered this red? Can Ronnie get through to it? Can he cut it in? If he can, that really is a careless shot from Dave Howald. I think he can. Well, oh, no, he's not even played it. It was nearly a great shot behind the blue. Now then, question is, will Dave take this red on? The pink is waiting. Might play safe off it. Oh, it's nearly a great shot. I expect him to take the cue ball off the table, actually. Well played. He's still fighting. <laughs> now then, does this red pass the blue? Well, I could have said that Ronnie was a little bit careless there, but he didn't have a lot of option actually when he was snookered, uh, half snooker behind the black. But he might have missed that. Now then, will Dave take the blue or will he play the pink? At this stage, I would say pink. He's got to try and get close to this final red. Oh, hang on. Oof. Well, he might have snookered himself. He's OK. Doesn't get any easier, though, does it? That was uh, danger so. there for a moment. 33 in it, 35 on. Yes, didn't play the pink very well, though. Should have got a lot more action on the cue ball, bottom on the white, and got a different angle. Should have been nowhere near the middle pocket with the cue ball. He's got to find another good shot here, a good safety.
It could be all over now. Yes, this is effectively for victory. One. And there it is. As you mentioned earlier on, David, a few frames today could have been altogether different. Yes, I'm sure Dave Harrod will be disappointed, but he can reflect on what's been a great week. So. He was up to 14th in the provisional rankings, but there's no doubt at all about who is at the top. Ten. Won his first ranking title as a 17-year-old, 1993 14. UK Championship. He's now 32. This is his ranking title, number 21. 19. He has played some great stuff this week. He ended last season as world champion. He begins the new season as Northern Ireland trophy champion. Ronnie O'Sullivan is untouchable at the moment. He's beaten Dave Harold 9-3. Really terrific performance all week. He was tested all the way. He had uh, three deciding frame finishes along the way, but played well today. It was a closely fought affair. Dave Howell played his part, but a few killer clearances were key. And Sullivan is the champion. £30,000 coming his way. We have the uh, trophy presentation right now with uh, Sir David Richards, director of the World Professional Billiards and Stuka Association, and the High Sheriff of Belfast, Councillor Margaret McKenzie. And, WPBSA, and uh, the local announcer just introducing the presentation party. This is in Gaelic, by the way, if you can't understand it. Here they come. August Martian, no Dush no Lebrona initiative. But Dave Howard's going to pick up £15,000 as a runner up. What a great week it's been for him. 14 years he had to wait between ranking event finals. I'm sure he's enjoyed the week here in Belfast. And there's the silver medal he's picking up. And he can really push on now this season, try and cement that place in the top 16. But there's only one winner. It's the man who ended last season as world champion. So Ronnie O'Sullivan is the Northern Ireland Trophy champion. Well done to him. Thanks for your company this week. We'll see you for the Shanghai Masters in a month's time. There you see Ronnie O'Sullivan picking up the trophy. We are now leaving, I can assure you. As I say, Shanghai Masters, September the 29th. Um, and uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan will Ronnie. feature in that. And who's to say okay. he won't win another yeah. ranking title there? Thanks for your company, as I say, Stoke from me, David Hendon, and Mike Allett. It's You're goodbye. You're on your way back to the top 16 where you belong. I know